I look around and see so many smiling faces, but feel in my heart of hearts nothing but blank spaces. Days go by as I feel the same, and as each day passes I claim to know his name, but do nothing except blame and complain as I refrain from getting closer to the very one whose blood red stains paid the price so that I could remain. I know I struggle and try to recover, but as I'm almost there it seems the devil grabbed me, pulling me back under. Facebook, the syringe, and Instagram, the needle, as I inject this world into my veins, not even realizing it's destroying my faith. Lethal. And though I can find happiness for a moment, that single component is the very opponent that stands between me and my atonement. You see, this world throws haymakers at your life like Holyfield, but my God is stronger bringing that holy shield, and before you know it, your life's a battlefield, so you best slide over and let Jesus take the wheel. Because you can't walk with the king of days while still holding on to your worldly ways. I mean, you can try to handle it, or you can try to manage, but by being of this world, you are at a complete disadvantage. You see, we want the things that we think matter, cars, money, and fame. But what we fail to realize is, they all in the same. What if I told you that there are more important things, like the love of a savior who's the king of all kings, you see, my God sent his only begotten son into this world not to be forgotten, but to seek the lost, the ones perceived as rotten, and speak word into their life, which is something worth being taught in. Imagine sacrificing your son or daughter for a world filled with murderers who enjoy slaughter, or for the drug addicts who can't get their fix, or maybe for the guy who shot up and robbed a convenience store just for kicks. You see, no matter who or why, he was still nailed to that cross. For all he died, no matter how lost. And it was our very sin that paid the cost. So the next time you're feeling down and turn to your phone, or you start to pray and you decide to postpone, always remember that through his word, everything is shown. And no matter what, with him, you're never alone. <laughs>